My name is Jose Rodriguez and I'm the project director for South America. And recently we had the opportunity to go to Bolivia and specifically we visited our project in Cochabamba and we had a really great chance to meet two scholarship students. And the first one is Juan. He is a former scholarship student. He graduated as an agronomical engineer, an agronomist, and he now works with the project on our sustainable food grant initiative. And what they are doing is that they're building greenhouses to enable the, the families in our communities to diversify their diet and that way they can grow a different set of vegetables that they wouldn't otherwise be able to grow given how arid the soil is and also how cold the weather can be. Right now, the main staples in their diet are essentially potatoes and onions and a large variety of green beans. They call it abas and their diet will be greatly enhanced by being able to plant, in addition to that, being able to plant peppers, tomatoes, carrots, and they're building all of these greenhouses with Juan's guidance and tutelage. They're building it out of adobe, using all the natural resources that are native to the area. So they're using the, the dirt, clay, and also local hay. So Juan works day to day with each of the families. He makes this, this long track. I wouldn't even be able to put a number of miles on it. And we were able to go on that walk with him. He makes that walk three days a week. And he visits each of the families that are carrying out this initiative. And you can really tell on the rapport that there is this mutual respect to really be able to have that clear communication that is important on not only sharing the technical knowledge, but also sharing the vision of the importance of a sustainable initiative like this is. Another example of a great, uh, great success story with a scholarship student that we were able to meet in Cochabamba was uh, Janet. She works in one of the sub-projects where they have established at the ground level mothers groups organizing mothers in groups of 10 to 15. That way they, they rely on each other as each other's best source of support. Nobody knows what they're going through better than them. And one of the first things that came up was realizing that literacy was a factor that they needed to address. Janet, her major is in education. She put together this program from scratch. She built it to be something that they would relate with. So what she had them do was bring different wrappings or packagings or or cutouts from newspapers with different letters, different words, and then relate that to the alphabet. And it was a great illustration of applying a traditional concept of what literacy is, but adapting it to the local context. The most striking thing overall about the trip is being able to see the scholarship students give back to their communities. And that's the overall purpose of the scholarship program, to start that engine for them to give back to their local communities. And then not only they grow, but the community grows.